Refrigerant recovery on this 2020 Toyota Corolla LE. Uh, but that's not the most important thing. As you can see, the condenser is bent here, so it's getting changed. So I'm going through the recovery process. I've already sucked most of it out. And as you can see, right here it says minus 16 and it's dropping down. Now I had this taken all the way down to about 1100 microns and it has risen this much because there's refrigerant still trapped inside the oil that got cold in the system. So if you thought you had it all out, you don't have it all out. There's still some trapped in there. So I'm going through the process of taking it down some more and not until it actually holds will I be know that I'm actually finished. But this is not the most interesting. I'm gonna introduce you to a new software that was just released by MACS Max and it's called I can't even say the name of it. CKTY. So I'm gonna. I'm just opening it. I just downloaded it into my tablet just right now. Last night I downloaded it for the first time in my phone, and I tried it on one car. This morning I scanned the second car, and I'm gonna show you this. You can use your camera to VIN scan and pull the information. So we're right with you. I'm gonna use it for my first time on the tablet. And we're going to see how uh, this is an iPad tablet, you know, Apple tablet. So let's open it. You can see I already have two cars in there. That's from last night. This is from this morning. But I actually didn't. All I did was scan. I didn't use any of the information or, or go around. So let's add another vehicle. We're going to do a VIN scan and we're going to use the camera. You could type it in. You could specify a vehicle or you could. Uh, I don't know what the VIN sample is yet. I haven't explored that feature so let's go into and yeah of course the apple phone doesn't want to focus let's go into vin scan would you like to access camera yes and so there we go so let's go to the vin let's see how this works together on an ipad so this is the my first test of the software and this is replacing the old software that max had that I would use sometimes to get information from. So let me get up there. Let's see if it could focus in that close. Yes, it can. So we got the VIN right there. Let's snap the shot. Okay, we just snapped the shot. And let's use photo. Sending image. And this is cloud-based, because you can tell. That's why it takes, oh, uh, okay, come on, use a single stroke. Okay, so it knows this is the first time I'm opening this up on this item. On my phone, it asked me this thing. We'll skip this part. This is gonna walk you through a little tutorial. I need to go online and watch their tutorial. They have a more detailed tutorial. I'm setting up an appointment to uh, go through a tutorial using this. So I'm absolutely using this with no tutorial and no previous training. So, let's go into um, parts and labor. We know the condenser is damaged on here. Let me see if I could uh, focus this a little better for you. So let's go into parts and labor and search and why does it want to, oh, condenser, I forgot. Uh, let's beta. Condenser. There you go. So you see this, Okay, I guess it's not going to work there. So let's just uh, use the microphone off of uh, the tablet. Condenser. That did not quite work out so well. I'm in a noisy environment. There is a big fan behind me and you can hear tools. So let's try this again. Condenser. There we go, we're searching. 2020 Toyota Corolla. There's the condenser. Let's uh, see what they have down there for R and R. 3.8 hours. So your billable layers would be 3.8 hours. So you take your hourly rate, build times 3.8. Parts required. Toyota part number it has a built-in receiver dryer. Built in Japan. The price for the condenser on this vehicle is four hundred and one dollars and two cents. So it gives you the part and it gives you the labor. T 
TSB bulletins. I'll slowly go over some of these different things on different vehicles, but I'm going to, while I'm reviewing this software, I'm gonna try to do one car a day, a little bit, even if I don't need to use it all day long, I'm gonna try to use it on one car a day and see if I could make one video a day and release it. Uh, and we'll together we'll learn how useful the software is for somebody who is doing air conditioning. All right, this is all the time I have for now. And um, as usual, too much work to do in a day and no time to do videos. See you guys. Oh, let me go back to uh, show you what this is. Oh, let's see part numbers. I didn't show you this. Uh, fan motor, condenser fan motor. Oh, well, let's go there. I'll walk you through this a little more. Not available. Uh, the details for this, because this is a new vehicle, 2022, so they don't have that information in yet. Uh, maybe a fan assembly. Let's see what they have for fan assembly. No information. Okay. Um, condenser, condenser, Japan built, included, included. All right. So there's, this is a new vehicle, so there's stuff that's not in this yet. But this is um, what you can download. And you there's a 30-day free trial. So if you try this out, you get a 30-day free trial before you decide whether or not you want to keep it. And this is what I'm going to do in my review. I'm going to review a little bit for everybody here so they can make their choice whether they want to download this, do a 30-day trial, and then decide whether it's good for your business or not. All right, see you guys.